Good morning. So it was a beautiful weekend, at least it was on Sunday. And I was able to go for a little hike with my boyfriend and it was wonderful. It's been a while, um, maybe almost a year. No, not that long, because we went in August. But it's been a long time since we went for a hike. I don't like hiking in the cold, so he'll go, but I won't. Um, anyway, so it was beautiful, perfect weather for hiking. It wasn't too hot, wasn't too cold. Um, got to see some beautiful stuff and I really got to practice my mindfulness skill now When I talk about mindfulness, it's about bringing the Mind into the present and, and staying with that and staying in the present moment and breathing and you know What do I hear? What do I smell? What do I taste? What do I touch all that? It's like It's really inv invigorating. I was playing around. I was counting the rocks. I was jumping on rocks and logs and just really being in the moment and it really can well first of all we practice this skill so that when we are in intense emotions we can calm down by you know um, mindfully watching our breath and, and, and seeing you know smelling tasting using our senses to bring us to that present moment because when we do that we actually slow down the mind and when we slow down the mind and our racing thoughts, we slow down our, uh, we, we activate the parasympathetic nervous system, which is the opposite of the stress response, you know, the fight or flight. It's the rest and um, eat or something, I don't know, I can't remember what, I keep forgetting to write those down. Um, but it's the opposite of the fight or flight, and that's what we're trying to engage when we're feeling intense emotions. So that we practice for, for that, but we also practice so that we can live in the moment and be in the moment and just enjoy our life, right? Instead of always waiting for the next thing, right? It's always, oh, when this happens, or we're working hard for the weekend, we're working, you know, we're doing this so that we can get rewarded after, or, you know, whatever it is. It's like constantly either perpetuating for a future time or we're reliving in the past and being attached to that and so you know just being able to be in the moment and, and go for that hike and, and be present with my boyfriend and just all of it was just super healing helpful it's just um, really get to enjoy my Sunday and I feel so blessed and it puts things in perspective for me and um, so I encourage you guys to, to do the same if you don't already. Um, it's nice, but you really should be practicing mindfulness every day in order for it to become like a habit because you know, if we're not in a habit of, of doing those things, when we're feeling intense emotions, we're not gonna think correctly and we won't, use to, we won't think to use them. So it's important to do even if just a little bit every day, like I did a little meditation this morning and I do that every morning, but you know, running late this morning, so I only got like 10, no, was it 10 or 20, I think, whatever, anything like that, um, it's better than nothing, right, it sets my day off right, it really does, it gives me a, a sense of focus and peace and, and like, um, I got this, you know, so anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day, I hope you remember to let the people that you love know that you love them, send them that text, give them a call, give them a great big hug, every chance you get, live your life mindfully, uh, live your life with gratitude, Live your life enthusiastically. Uh, if you like my videos, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, uh, leave me a comment, and um, I hope you stay blessed. Peace.